Okay, let's start looking at notes for chapter 1.2, notes on limits. So a limit is simply the y value that a function or graph approaches as the x value gets closer to a given constant. So for instance, in this graph, even though there's a hole at 1, 3, uh, we can say that the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 is 3. And the reason why is because as the graph gets closer towards this x value of 1, we see that the y value, uh, this graph is approaching a y value of 3 from both sides of the graph. And the notation that uh, we can use uh, to express limits is limit of f of x as x approaches 1 is equal to 3. Okay, so in order for a limit to exist, the graph must approach the same y value from both directions. So you can see that the graph is connected uh, towards the, the order pair 1, 3 from the left as well as from the right side of the graph. So therefore the limit exists at 3. Okay. Uh, a couple of instances of where limit does not exist. So if we compare between uh, this first graph and this one, we see that as x approaches 3, so x value of 3, that from the left, the left branch is approaching a y value of um, uh, whatever this y value is. So let's say this is at 4. But then from the right of uh, this right branch, as we, as we move towards the next value of 3, we see that the y value is approaching 2. So we see that there's no agreement between the left branch and the right branch. So therefore, we say that the limit uh, does not exist. Okay. Another example of where the limit does not exist is um, with this graph B, where as we approach the x value of 2, uh, the y value uh, does not approach a real number. Uh, so in this case, we can say that the, uh, the limit does not exist, uh, but more specifically, we can say that the limit um, of f of x as x approaches 2 is equal to positive infinity, and positive infinity is the reason why uh, the limit does not exist. Okay. Sometimes you're also going to get graphs with oscillating behavior, where as we approach a specific x value, uh, the y values do not agree, where we cannot um, determine where the graph is approaching, uh, where the graph crosses, um, uh, which value the graph crosses as it approaches x. So we can zoom in as much as we want, but we're never going to be able to figure out what that point is. So an instance of that would be f of x equals sine of 1 over x. And in this instance, uh, where the graph oscillates but, and does not settle at a specific y value, we say that the limit does not exist. Right. We can also um, find the limit using a table of values. So if we go back to um, the graph that we started off with, x cubed minus 1 over x minus 1, which is shown by this graph here. If we pick values close to 1 from the left side of 1 as well as from the right side of 1, we're going to get a table of values uh, represented here. So as we approach 1 from the left side of 1, 0 0.9, 0 0.99, 0 0.999, and then we choose values from the right side of 1, 1.1, 1.01, and we look at the behavior of the y values, we can come to the conclusion that as x value approaches 1, we can see, we can see that the y value is approaching 3, 2.71, 2.97, 2.997, 2 that's approaching 3 from the left. From the right side, 3.31, 3.031, it, uh, 3.003, .003, it's also approaching 3. So even though the order pair 
does not exist at 1, we do see the behavior of the graph. This graph is moving towards a y value of 3 from both sides of the graph. So there's consistency um, with both sides of the graph. So we can therefore say that the limit exists at um, 3 since the y value approaches 3 from both sides of the graph. Okay, if we go to the back, we can look at some examples. So for A, limit as x approaches 0. So we're looking at the behavior of the y value as we get closer towards 0. As we get closer towards 0, we see that the graph crosses through 0, 1, the, or, uh, the order pair is 0, 1, and the y value is simply 1. Okay, so in this case, uh, finding the limit at, uh, as x approaches 0 is no different than finding the order pair at 0, which is 1. Okay. But we're going to see some differences begin to show up as we look at some other examples between limits and order pairs. So part B, limit as x approaches negative 3. As x approaches negative 3, we see that the graph crosses through 0. So again, this is just like finding the order pair. It's going to be at 0. Okay, however, look at C, limit as x approaches 4. So as we approach 4, we see that the order pair is going to be at 2. However, the limit is not going to exist because there is no agreement from both sides of 4. Uh, if we look at the left branch, as we approach 4 from the left side of 4, we see that the graph is approaching 1, right, a y value of 1. From the right side of 4, we see that the graph is approaching a different y value, a y value of 2. So limit does not exist because there is no agreement uh, from uh, uh, with both uh, with both sides or both with the two branches of the graph. Okay, let's look at um, example three or number three, graph number three. <coughs> so we're starting off with uh, f of negative two. Here we're simply looking for the order pair. So f of negative two, we see that the order pair is simply at negative one. Okay. Limit as x approaches negative 2. So as we approach negative 2, we're going to follow the graph. We're going to follow the branch. As we approach negative 2 uh, from both sides, we follow the graph. We see that both, both branches are leading towards the same y value. It's leading towards positive 3. Okay. Limit as x approaches 2. So limit as x approaches 2, we see that uh, the graph is going to cross through this order pair and uh, there is a connection through that point so we can say that the limit as x approaches negative 3 is going to be um, oh sorry, limit as x approaches 2 is equal to 0 okay, limit as x approaches 3 so limit as x approaches 3 we see that the graph connects to this point here um, and, uh, it, and that y value is at um, negative 2 f of 3 is simply asking you for the order pair, so f of 3 is simply 1. Okay, and finally, limit as x approaches negative 1.34. So as we approach um, negative 1.34, we see that it's all going to be on this horizontal line. And this horizontal line is holding, um, is, uh, takes uh, a consistent y value of negative 1. So our limit is simply going to be negative 1. Okay, number four, <clears throat> limit as x approaches negative five. So one, two, three, four, five. Negative five, we see that the, um, the graph connects, connects to, a, um, to the same point, and it's going to connect to this y value of two. Limit as x approaches negative three. So as we approach negative three, we see that uh, it's approaching a vertical asymptote. So the limit does not exist because uh, both sides, both branches of the graph do not um, um, approach a real number. So we can say does not exist, but we can be more specific and, and give the reasons why the limit does not exist and the reason why is because they're both approaching positive infinity. Both branches are approaching positive infinity. Okay, g of negative 5, we're simply looking for the order pair. g of negative 5 will be at 1. 
limit as x approaches 0. Limit as x approaches 0. Uh, so we're looking for the y value as it approaches, uh, as it gets towards 0. And uh, based off of this, the best we can do is estimate, uh, which is going to be probably around 1.2, y value of 1.2. Uh, limit as x approaches 2, so limit as x approaches 2, we see that uh, the left branch is approaching 1, the right branch is approaching a different y value of negative 1, so there is no um, consistency, uh, both branches do not arrive at the same y value, so we can say that the limit does not exist. Okay? G of 2, we're simply looking for an ordered pair, so at um, two, we see that there are no closed circles, nothing is defined at two, so therefore it does not exist or undefined. And finally, limit as x approaches three. Limit as x approaches three, we see that the graph uh, goes through the point uh, two, negative two, so the uh, y value of negative two, and the graph continues uh, going down. So we know that um, uh, the graph is going to connect through that point and it's going to pass through from both sides of the graph so we can say that the limit is equal to negative 2.